guys, this is Omar from The Omar Show and today I'm going to talk about something that's going to interest a lot of you guys. Well, I'm talking about how to detox after Diwali. Diwali is such a fun festival, we we'll all love it, we meet so many people, our friends and family, we celebrate it with everyone around us. Um, it just really gets people together and I love, I love that about Diwali. But the one thing that we all do is eat extra, drink extra, and it really messes up with our body. And we need to, absolutely need to detox after a festival like that. And I'm gonna tell you five things, five very simple things that I do that really makes a huge difference to me in five days. Uh, it really re-energizes me, you know, gets the glow back on my face and uh, really makes me feel clean. So these are five simple steps. You can do it too. Um, and it really works for me and I'm sure it's gonna work for you too. The first one is increase the intake of water. It's so simple to do. If whatever amount of water you're having right now, usually I have three to four liters of water every day, but while I'm detoxing, I increase another liter in it. So maybe if you're having two big bottles of water, just make it three. You can also add some warm water in between. You can have glasses of warm water with lemon. That really makes your body alkaline. And uh, water really has the power to detox your body. It really flushes out all the toxins and it's important to really have enough amount of water while you're detoxing. So that's the first thing. Second thing is cut out all your refined sugar. And when I say sugar, not just white and brown sugar, but everything that turns into sugar in your body, like breads and rotis and parathas, everything made out of flour, pastas and everything. Uh, refined sugar really messes with our digestive system, our immune system, uh, even our moods. And you'll see a huge difference when you cut out uh, sugar from your daily diet. Third thing I do is add a lot of green vegetables in my diet. I start my day with green juices. If you want the recipes, I'm going to give you the link of my video that I did a few months back that has some very interesting recipes of green juices. You can start your day with those green juices. It will really make you feel so much more energetic and make you feel great, you know, in terms of your moods and everything else. For breakfast, again, I have either sorted spinach with some mushrooms, or I have spinach omelette or you can also add some gluten-free oats with lots of berries and fruits in it with uh, seeds and nuts and make it really nutritious. For lunch I like to have sauteed vegetables. You can have vegetables in so many different ways. You can saute them, you can steam them, uh, you can grill them, make a nice stir fry uh, and they all taste so yummy. For dinner also, I like to have lots of green vegetables. I again grill them. There are so, so many different kinds of vegetables that you get and you need to add new vegetables in your diet every now and then. It's very important. I know um, being an Indian, I end up having lots of Indian vegetables, but there are just so many other vegetables available in supermarkets here and uh, they all taste yum. But make sure you have your dinner early, like 6.30 or 7. Fourth thing that I like to do and uh, I suggest you should start doing that too is exercise. Never underestimate the power of a good workout. Well, I keep having so many workout videos in my YouTube channel, so I'm going to give a link here that you can watch and add 30 minutes of workout in your day, especially when you're detoxing. If you don't have the time to work out, just go for a walk, you know, walk more, take the steps, do things that will make you physically more active because when you're detoxing, it's important to be physically active to get all your toxins out. So get moving, guys. And the last thing that I really like to do uh, is to pamper myself with a long salt bath. Salt baths have huge benefits. It detoxifies you, it really soothes your entire body, it uh, calms you down, it cleanses your energy, and it really gives you a good sleep. You sleep like a baby after a long salt bath, and sleep is so important when you are detoxing yourself. So try a salt bath and I'm telling you, you will feel so happy, calm and so positive about everything around you. So guys, 
five things, very simple steps, short video. I'm sure you can watch it in few minutes and add these things while you're detoxing after a festival like Diwali. And let me know how you feel after you do all these five things for five days. Um, I always tell people, when we're talking about health and wellness, we don't need to bring about big changes in us. Small lifestyle changes can have a huge impact if you're consistent about it. So do it consistently for five days. And if there are things out of these five things that you can continue for a longer time, then do it. I'm telling you, you will see the difference. It takes 21 days for anything to become a habit. So continue it for 21 days, three weeks or a month and see how you feel about it. And write to me, interact with me on the omashow.com or any of my social media pages. I'm always waiting to hear from you guys. So see you next time. Till then, 